Do you hear it? The water's calling. Today on At Your Leisure, we are at Yuba Lake State Park. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And today, we're gonna find out that there's more to this adventure than just the water. Then, Steve Human flips a coin in San Juan County to find out which road will lead him to adventure. And finally, Don Dunwell has been our travel reporter for 25 years. And today, we pay tribute to this amazing broadcaster. At Your Leisure is next. Adventure ahead. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And we're boating at Yuba State Park out here in Juab County. There is so much to do out here. You know, when we first came down here for Boat World 25 years ago, there wasn't much here. But man, it has changed. There are so many activities to do that this will be like a major summer destination for you. Today, we're going to show you around, tell you what's in store. Let's check it out. Yuba State Park is the fifth largest reservoir in the state of Utah. This place is huge. It's 22 miles in length when it's full. There's five different campgrounds. You can do anything from uh, primitive camping to fully developed camping. We've got hot showers. You can rent a day use pavilion while you're here. Go to the store, rent a paddle board, a jet ski. Ride your ATVs in and out of all of the campsites. There are awesome things to do here. There's hard ice cream at the store, burgers, whatever you forgot. You can find it here at Yuba State Park. The docks at Yuba have got paddle boards, side-by-sides, canoes, kayaks. They have razors you can rent as well, water toys, all kinds of fun things. If it's too windy to get on the lake, there are other things to do. You hit the zip line, you can go on a hike, you can, you can do a little fishing from the shore. For the most part, you've got your walleye, your northern pike. In fact, we are home to the state record, 27-pound uh, northern pike. Right now, just uh, just to let you know, don't tell your friends, but uh, the walleye are biting. A couple of guys last week limited out, and it's a good time to catch them, so come on out. They only stay hot for a couple weeks, so get on out here. We have over 1,500 feet of zip action here at Yuba. One of the zip lines is 850 feet long, and then there's a return zip line that's 650 feet long. But you can rent it for the you can rent it for an hour, a couple hours, or just uh, pay to go down as an individual. But it, it's an amazing opportunity, and it's not so scary and so high above the ground that your kids aren't going to want to go. A lot of opportunity to, to mingle with, with the crowds, and I love the atmosphere of just the, the family orientation. Just family groups out here having a good time and enjoying each other and enjoying Mother Nature. That's what I love about Yuba State Park. Woo, wish I could do that again. Woo, thank you, Ranger Slater. You're welcome. Wow, okay. We're ahead to our travel adventure. Stephen Human is in San Juan County, and he is letting Chance choose his adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at Yuba State Park. You know, I think it's interesting, Chad. Um, when we were here, you know, just not too long ago, this was just a water-based destination, right? That's, well, in the last five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But now it's an everything destination. You can come out here, you can ATV, you can hike, you can zip line, you can boat, you can camp. You can I mean, rustle cattle. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea. No, seriously, no, we don't do that. We're just kidding about the cows. But there is a lot of wildlife here, and there's a ton of things to do. Let's find out what your opportunities are. The park is ATV friendly. And just outside the park, there are trails, numerous trails all around the lake to ride your ATVs, your quads, your side-by-sides. Friendly environment, they're going to enjoy the, the, the lake, they're going to enjoy the campground. All the sites are, uh, almost all the sites are pull-through sites, so it's easy in, easy out. Two-lane dump station, there's plenty of good fishing on the on the lake. I think the campers would appreciate being over here at Painted Rocks because a little more spread out and open, whereas Oasis is a little, seems like everybody's a little closer together. They have a little more space between, this, the, between them and other campers. I think families that 
enjoy the outdoors and don't need the creature comforts, would really enjoy it at Painted Rocks. This campground over here is wide open. The sites are pretty darn big with a lot of pull-throughs and there's plenty of opportunities for biking and just being outdoors. There's just so much to do here and it's quiet. There's boating, camping over at Eagle View. It's primitive, um, but yeah, you can take your boats into the Eagle View, park your boat right on the shoreline and then camp. It's just outdoor, you know, wilderness, which is what I love, what we love. A place like Yuba can make a lot of lasting memories for people that will carry them through their lives. So invest some time to come down here. Uh, we have some news of memories that uh, is probably not the easiest thing to talk about. Uh, we lost one of our At Your Leisure family members uh, not too long ago, and uh, it was Don Dunwell. You know, Don and I started work together at Fox when he first went on the air with news. Don was one of those bigger in life, jovial, Norseman. He was a Viking. He, he loved the outdoors. He raised in Butte, Montana, served his country in the military, and had a love of journalism and storytelling. And you could tell that every time he worked for us. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. Through our entire 10 years of Boat World, through all 15 years of At Your Leisure, whenever we needed to have somebody that could bring some real feelings, some real character, some real seriousness, and some lighthearted fun, to one of our stories, we always look to Don. We will miss him. So, as an appropriate tribute, here is one of Don's favorite stories. Well, next week's show looks great, Chad. It does. Hey, did you have fun today? I did, and I was also very enlightened because I had been over to Painted Rocks for a while, and I am amazed at how much transformation this state park has been through in the last 10, 15 years. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Just in the last year or so, it's just uh, transformed. The campsites are so beautiful out here. Well, you know, and this is a whole thing where you should you should come down and not just use it as a day use place. Come down and stay. Pick Painted Rocks, go over to Oasis. You know, they've got all the amenities of home over there. And really, if you need something, you're only 15 minutes from Levan, where there's a grocery store or Nephi. I know. You can get to them real quick. I mean, for families, you cannot beat it. I mean, it's so family friendly. That's true. but. Remember, there's adventure around every bend. Some of them will get you wet. <laughs> Just remember to get out there and create your own adventure at, at your, your leisure. leisure. Come on, Ree, we got to find our ride back home. <laughs> have you had fun? I have had fun today. And I've just been... We are at Yuba State Lake Park.